past Friday was the seniors' last prime time. For the past four years, this extra 30 minutes at the beginning of their Friday helped shape them into the person they are today. We decided to go ask their teachers what their favorite memories were. Uh, hello, my name is Carl Pennington. I've been in this school for 20 years or more. Uh, favorite memory about my prime time? Easily uh, playing kickball outside on the football field that day. I had a lot of fun. I was the pitcher for both sides. Mm -hmm. Uh, favorite quality about my prime time? Um, I like how all the kids get along. I really have never had any problems with any of these, these students uh, not getting along with each other. They're great. And uh, my favorite activity? Probably there's a group of us that have gone to um, Olive Garden several times. And that's just a fun time. Nice group. Right. Have a good life. So nobody's just gonna look at the camera. What's poppin', y'all? Have a good one. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mr. Wenzel, and I have a senior prime time. Now, what's your favorite memory with your prime time? Favorite memory? I think it was about two years ago. We were having breakfast, um, and Jake Pitzer, um, our prime time bully, I think it was him, decided to put a piece of chalk in Colin Leonard's pancake. Lenny ate it, and when asked, Lenny, how was the pancake? He responded, it was really good, except one bite was really crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's your favorite thing to do with your prime time? Um, <clears throat> a lot of times we just kind of relaxed. I got to walk around and talk to each of the kids, get to know them a little better. And I really enjoyed that. Out of all the activities, out of all the things we did, I just enjoyed getting to know them a little better. And what's your favorite thing about your prime time? You know, Katie, they were all good kids. They gave me no problems. They arrived on time, um, no dress code violations. They were fun to be around. Um, I greeted them, they greeted me. We talked. It, it was a good relationship. Probably one of the best prime times I've had so far. I'll miss them. My name is Mr. Real and I'm a senior primetime teacher. What is your favorite memory with your primetime? Um, probably my, one of my favorite memories is when we had Matt Beck doing uh, Ninja by himself in front of the room. Uh, he was really into that and our whole class really enjoyed that. Plus uh, our class really likes Pictionary for whatever reason. Interesting. Um, what does your primetime like to do when you have a um, I'll tell you what they don't like to do. I like to talk in a circle and I make everyone participate. And I, even though I think they say they don't like it, I think they do. Um, we also, they seem like kind of like the two minute talks where I just kind of ask them things about what's going on. Uh, and they really like uh, dodgeball also. Awesome. And what is your favorite thing about your prime time? Uh, I think my favorite thing about this prime time is that they are a bunch of different personalities, but they're all really good kids. It's kind of like a family where they kind of fight at times, but when we do something against another prime time, we're all together. And so I think it's a prime times can be real successful, and it's one I'm going to miss.
As fans of the show might remember, our proudest moment of last year is when we learned how to ride a horse. Ever since, we've been determined to get back to the farm. Our goal? To milk a cow. Moo. 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 <laughs> <laughs> On May 14th, our quest led us to Baker's Golden Dairy in New Waterford. Baker's is a family owned and operated dairy and they've been around for decades. The people are great, the scenery is beautiful, but we had only one thing on our minds. Milk. That. Cow. Most of the milking done at Baker's is automated and there's even talk of using robots in the future. But there's still a lot of hands-on work to be done. And of course, there's no milking without the cows. What do we think so far? Um, it's really interesting. It's interesting really smells. Yeah, lots yeah. of smells. A lot, a lot of, of smell. beautiful scenery. A lot of milk. Beautiful yes. cows. Are you Very nervous? excited. I'm I'm nervous. I'm a little nervous because they're a lot bigger than I yeah. than I yeah. thought. The biggest cow I've ever seen. I was, mean. Yeah. You expect them to be like <laughs> I don't know what I thought they would the size be. of a squirrel. I don't know. Not a squirrel, but I think a little bit smaller than they look like animals. Well, they are animals. They look like <laughs> monsters in there. You know? Right. I was born ready. <laughs> And I've never seen the process, so that was really interesting. The teat was thicker than I thought it would be, and warmer. <laughs> it, Thick, warm teat, all right. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. I thought it was just gonna be like a gross, warm mess, but like, it really, it felt like a belt. <laughs> like a leather belt. Felt like a belt. Yeah. Put kind of a dirty job in there, though. Yeah, it's kind of dirty. I feel kind of gross. I smell manure, but you know, we're making it. about senior friend groups and how they feel distance might affect their friendships. Check it out. Do you want to go? Okay. okay. I'm Gianna. I'm going to Duquesne University. I'm Marina. I'm going to YSU. I'm Brooke. I'm going to YSU. I'm Aiden. I'm going to OSU. I'm Maddie. I'm going to YSU. I'm Jenna. I'm going to YSU. <laughs> that okay. distance is it's going to make it harder. You know, obviously, we can't see each other every day and we can't talk and we can't maintain like you know, like what we have right now. But I, I think anytime we get together, it's just gonna be the same and we're just gonna be the same best friends. So I think we're, we're gonna keep the bond, but it's just gonna make it harder every day. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.
think I think I think gonna die. That's what I said. I think adding on I'm just gonna say what I said last time. I think adding on to that, we just have like a really cool like I don't know, like this thing that we just come together, we can pick up right where we were before. Like it's not like we're gonna miss anything from being far apart, so mm -hmm. My name is Claire Shimano and I'll be attending Princeton in the fall. Hi, my name is Julia Petrello and I'm going to the University of Southern California. Hi, my name is Claire Berlin and I'll be going to the College of Worcester. Um, how do you guys all feel about graduating? Um, I think it's bittersweet, definitely. Like, it's exciting to move on to like a new chapter, but like, it's, it's sad because I right, right now I see you guys every day and like that's gonna be hard. Yeah, yeah. the distance is definitely gonna be a challenge. I didn't expect to be going far away, and I know yeah. Julia is going really yeah. far away. And like we've grown up all our lives together with these people, and to move on to something new is exciting because we like we've always wanted to try new things. Um, but it definitely comes with a level of fear. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling like a little bit sentimental. Like I was like yeah. walking around school, and I was like, oh, I mean, I'm probably never gonna be here again. Which is like such mm -hmm. a weird thing because yeah. it's been like such a big part of like our lives, like high school, mm -hmm. and like especially like Campfield and growing up around here, like. I don't know, it's kind of... We've grown so much in the past four years. Yeah, for sure. But it's really exciting to be done. <laughs> but, yeah. I think oh. distance is definitely going to be a factor. I mean, mm -hmm. you notice it even when you're like not in the same class as someone for a semester, that like, mm -hmm. uh, even just like that slight distance, like you talk less, If you're especially if you're not like keeping up with like text messages and stuff. So being so far apart, from your friends that you had throughout high school um like if you're not gonna keep up via like text communication or social media um you're gonna lose that connection for sure um yeah i think like me personally like i'm going really far away really. um and like i think the biggest thing for me is i suck at texting like i never respond to texts and like i like mean to but i just never do and i like i need to start doing that because i can't just all people because it's three hours time difference. Oh god. Um, yeah, so like I like have a really bad habit of like I just call my friends all the time instead of texting them, which is like so like I don't know, early two thousands for me I guess, but like <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure out how to like keep up with my friends and I think there's some people that like if you've been friends like that long, like at some point they just become like your family mm -hmm. more or less. So like even if I don't like talk to, you know, like my friends every day. I think like there's like some like underlying root that we've all hung out for the past yeah. like you know ten years. We've known each other since like, we were kids. Mm -hmm. And like there's things about like each of us that like everyone get like we get mad at each other for like stupid things. <laughs> stupid things like I'll always be like oh like she does that and, like stupid things that like you know make us mad about like each individual but that kind of like I feel it like makes us more yeah. like a family because like yeah. you get upset at your yeah. siblings and you get like super annoyed at your siblings but like in the end like you're still siblings so like yeah. there's those things but like we're still best friends yeah and even if we don't like talk every day i think like there are some people that like you will be friends with like forever mm -hmm. that's all really cheesy but there's also some people that you'll probably never talk to again <laughs> it's fine decided to showcase summer activities in the form of a rainbow.
segment of the show, we ask a couple seniors with their favorite senior memories. Make sure you watch it. My favorite memory was beating Akron East in football. One of my favorite high school memories was uh, singing at the senior showcase this year. My favorite high school memory was freshman year when our freshman football team played Walsh Jesuit. And we went over to Walsh Jesuit. We didn't know who they were. We heard they were pretty good. We beat them and then our coach, Coach Rusher, took us to a random hot dog shop after. It was a good time. My favorite high school memory was senior prom. Uh, my favorite high school memory was the speech and debate tournament. <laughs> my favorite high school memory is like fasting in school because that's so much fun. My favorite senior memory is going out on the field and playing my heart out on my trumpet. My favorite high school memory was running the flags for the high school football team. One high school activity I would like to do before I graduate is skip every class. Come to school and not go to any class. Just like make me a private room. I've always wanted to color my parking spot with sidewalk chalk. For you graduate, we decided to make that happen. Okay. Please. <laughs> okay. Enter this room. That's your little new bed. <laughs> Go ahead. Please enter. Now, but we got you chalk to oh do my your gosh, dear yes. Can we go out to the parking lot? Yeah, we we have permission, so we can.
Oh, didn't see you there. All right, today we're out here trying to test some bass. Let's see some, what we can do. Some big boys out here. Hello. Here we are at our secret fishing spot. And we're gonna do our best to catch fish. Cole trying to find some cell phone reception up there. All right, the crisis has been diffused. So far, we've come up a little unlucky, but like, you know, I'm just getting warmed up. You got your lucky charm right here. Yep. Get, get footage, get footage. I am getting footage. Cole caught a big stick. It appears to have gotten a fish. False alarm. Ah, Big false alarm. Just uh, some grass. Oh, Peckman's got a fish. Yes, sir. He got a fish. Yes, sir. Yeah, Peckman. Look at that beauty. Oh, sh see? he unhooked himself. Oh, see? If you're lucky, it'll Stop. unhook itself. <laughs> We're about catch and release here on the Cardinal. We respect animals on the Cardinal. And there, there she goes. goes. Whoa! I lost it. Oh, my. Whoa! Whoa! This is our update video. We've only caught one fish. Yeah. And Dave sucks at fishing. And so does Cole. Big one. Whoa! There you go, Peckman. I got you. <laughs> easy money. Peckman, that's too easy. I got seaweed too. So cool, what do you think about your luck out here? I haven't caught anything yet. Um, Patience is key though. I think maybe the fish are uh, a little bit timid today. Scared of you? Yeah. Well, I mean, Peckman's caught like three. Well, it's the rod, so. Yeah. The rod. Whoa. Look at that. <laughs> Where are they? This one's feisty as Second, where are your flyers at? Uh, did I leave them in the grass? So, all in all, how would the, the fishing day have been scrubbed? Um, I thought it was very successful. I went from a master fisher. It was awesome. Uh, caught some rocks, caught some seaweed. Peckman caught some fish, I guess. It's my fisherman. Thank you, boys. Thank you for coming along with us. They didn't go that well. 0 for 10, something like that. Seaweed, cattails. It's because the rod. Thanks for that, Peckin. Oh, okay. So, things went just about as expected. Caught some seaweed, some rocks. I think today was a successful day. everyone so for our challenge we're making the boys fast for ramadan since i already fast and cameron's gonna help me edit because she refuses to fast so we're gonna make troy and frank both fast for at least one day and we're gonna see how long they last so let's, let's see how this goes so the rules are as follows you cannot eat from sunrise to sunset this means you stop eating around 4 30 a.m and you can eat again at around 8 40 p.m between this time no food no water even if you have work or anything you have to still go through with it which is why it's so difficult and breaking your fast while if you're sick you can break your fast because obviously god doesn't want you to suffer but you basically you have to keep up with it you have to push through the pain so good luck to these boys and i'm really curious to see how they come out in the end hi troy hello are you excited to fast no going into this how are you feeling 
Uh, a little nervous. I guess a little excited, yes. I just, I feel like I'm excited to kind of cleanse my body. Are you scared to lose muscle? No. Do you think you're going to get small? No, I'm going to take protein powder and stuff, so. Okay. Well, anything you'd like to ask me? Any advice? Any questions? Um, so like, how do I deal with like the severe hunger pains? Like when the insulin spikes around like meal times? This is probably, um, you deal with it because you're doing this in the name of religion and you're starving yourself in the name of religion. Okay, but I'm not. So like, anything else? Um, just, just hydrate, I guess. Oh wait, you can't, but like... <laughs> Good luck, Troy. Thanks. Hi, Frank. Hello. <laughs> okay, um, are you excited for this? I am 100% excited for this. You're excited to fast? Yep. Are you excited to starve yourself? I know 100% that I'll be able to do this. Is there any, qu or any nope. questions? Nope, I know exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna endure the pain, it's gonna be great. <laughs> any questions? Nope. <laughs> any advice or anything you'd like to ask? But it should be that. No, it's gonna be easy. <laughs> it's gonna be easy. All right, so no, okay. um, I haven't eaten all day. I'm with Aiden and Carter. They're not a part of this though. I'm very hungry. I'm very hungry. We are going to Raising Cane's right now and um, I'm gonna eat as fast as I can. I've had video games to distract me this whole day. Yeah, I, just gotta, I just gotta walk over to Raising Cane's. So. There's not much to say, but um, That. That's gonna be my night. Oh, I'm so fat, and that's my update. Oh, I feel great. Never have been happier in my entire life. Oh, well, that's me. I used video games as a distraction and sleeping. And it was great for the last three hours, but you know what? Oh my god, nothing feels greater. Good luck, Charlie. Is that, is that fine? Is that fine? Ah, uh, yeah. So, I, I ended up fasting for a total of three days. Day one, I found, was by far the hardest because, well, I personally was at work for five hours, and I work at a restaurant, so that kind of sucks. But um, just the hunger was really tough the first day. Uh, day two, the hunger was almost minimal, so it was just maybe... Um, getting used to it and day three the hunger wasn't bad yet again but it was just a lot of fatigue but um, it was an interesting experience and I'm glad I got to participate hello Donya how are you I'm great how are you I'm... <laughs> okay. sorry I got some in my nose there <laughs> are you excited to fast oh yeah so I gotta kill that pig there <laughs> anyway yeah I am excited to fast any questions or any advice you'd like to ask <laughs> Any questions you'd like to ask? No, not particularly. Any advice you'd like to ask? <laughs> Gotta kill that dog too. <laughs> no, no, no advice. I think I'm good with this. Do you think it helps at all that like you're? <laughs> Gotta fix my motorboat. <laughs> oh, it's really, it's really acting up. <laughs> that last one was my horse, actually. Are you? Are you? <laughs> Are you scared for any health risks or anything? No. I... <laughs> That's my pirate. <laughs> that sounded more like a Minecraft. Hello, sound. God. <sighs> that guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anything you'd like to add? Stay safe, Oriato. God damn it. No. <laughs> So Karina, which one do you think is gonna be the best? Canes, Chick-fil-A, or Wendy's? Um Okay, I don't know, cause like Chick-fil-A all the I've way. Had, okay, well Canes is good too, but like it doesn't have like it's the same stuff. You know, Canes I mean Chick-fil-A has different stuff. True. But true. the cane sauce is really good. And if you don't like the cane sauce, then like you're not really gonna like it. The bread is good at Canes. The bread is so good yeah. at Canes. So Chicken and Chick-fil-A is the best. Know? 
Like you just have to have it to know, you know what I mean? I think though like Wendy's prices are like the most affordable. Oh, their four for four is amazing. But like if we're actually talking snack. about like the food, then it's like, so unhealthy for you. It's on so <laughs> bad. So Madison ordered the canes for us. We got a three-piece combo. Yeah, there it is. Oh, look at that. And there you have it, folks. All right, so Madison, how much did that cost again? I think like seven ninety or seven. Seven oh nine. It's costed. It's costed. <laughs> seven oh six. Seven oh six. So I think we should first all break off a piece yes. of this bread. Actually, all right, so we're doing chicken first. All right, so everyone, grab a piece of chicken. Okay. Chicken. Yeah, That's so what the chicken looks like. Oh, God, it's thank hot. You. Oh my God. You're welcome. Hot. Very hot. Um, so prop, oh. props to them. Dip it. Oh, sorry. Oh. Here's a dip. All right. Come on, dip. Do you want to dip? Mm -hmm. Thanks, girly. All right. Cheers. 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 It has a very similar breading to um, KFC. So like, honestly, if you want to like have a low budget chicken, I'd say go to KFC if you want like this type of style. I don't like as much, like it has a good crunch to it. But I don't like, like it to be super crunchy. Same. Chick-fil-A's isn't I love like Chick -fil -A's. that. Chick-fil-A's. I love Chick-fil-A's. But I like the sauce and the bread and the fries. But I like Chick-fil-A's fries. I like the style of their fries. If you want just strips, I'd say go with Cane's. And if you want like a sandwich, mm -hmm. I'd say go Chick-fil-A. Awesome. They're a napkin. It's very greasy. Yes, yeah, here. This is all the napkins I got. Yeah, the bread is really good. It has a, it's soft, but it has like a little crunch to mm -hmm. it. You know, I think it's. It's really got a good. nice buttery taste. Yeah, I like that taste too. All right, so fries are pretty good too. The fries are good. Mhm. Mm cute little shape. Bag. I'd probably give it like a seven out of ten. I think there's more hype for this just because it's. I'd say, yeah, I'll give seven too. I'll give it like an eight. It's really good. seven and a half. Well, that was Kane's. On to Wendy's. Okay. All right. So it. we have officially gotten the Wendy's okay. chicken nuggets. Give me the chicken nuggets. Okay. The four-piece chicken nuggets. All right. They're kind of small. Oh my god, the honey mustard looks so pretty. In comparison on these chicken nuggets. I mean, I love the price for no, only. I mean, a dollar for four. A dollar for four. Not bad. That's I mean. Though at the same time, those are very small compared to a Cane's a chicken snack. strip. You can, you can always get yeah, but I just like this chicken. I just, it's not hard. Yeah, I mean, you could get like a whole meal and it only be about five bucks. Okay, so we just got done with Cane's and Wendy's. Uh, I'd have to give Wendy's the price. Yes. Um, it was only a dollar for four. For four. I mean, they were small. So if you're on a budget, definitely I'd say go with the Wendy's. But I definitely give Cane's a good review. Welcome to the area, you know. It's a good place. Good place to be. All right, Madison. The inside is good too. Like it's beautiful. Yeah, the inside is very nice. But Madison, you're gonna do the honors. Thanks for watching. Coffee. Oh my God. <laughs> Coffee. Ready for graduation? Yeah. Hey, Coffee. Sign that yearbook. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we miss you. And to all other 2019 seniors, we'll miss ya. Yeah. <laughs> 